as convenient and let's face it, marketable. The whole idea of positively affirming your way to increased self-acceptance and improved self-worth sounds. The reality is that the only people who tend to benefit from the usage of positive affirmations are people who already have a well-established sense of self-worth and a fairly decent level of self-acceptance. And the reality is that people who have a low sense of self-worth, their symptoms and the feelings of unhappiness actually increase with the usage of positive affirmations. So they end up worse than they started out. People with a low sense of self-worth have a subconscious belief system about themselves that basically tells them that they are unworthy, that they are unlovable. And when you try to consciously override that with some very generalized statements, all you end up doing is creating an internal conflict within. And I suppose it's recognizing that when you draw attention to the fact that you are unlovable by trying to repeat these very generic statements what you actually do is highlight the reality of how you feel about yourself and this is how you end up feeling worse so what can you do instead well all is not lost when it comes to affirmations what you can do is form some very personalized ones that are believable that are something that don't fly in the face of what your belief system actually tells you so find things about yourself that are realistic that are true and that are believable even if they don't seem like they're all that positive even if they're more just a case of finding acceptance we tend to assume that we have to tell ourselves that we're successful that we are wonderful that we are beautiful that we're fantastic that we're confident and if we don't believe that about ourselves then we just don't believe it whereas if we can become more realistic in our statements and generally this whole exercise works a lot better if you write these things down so that you're really embodying and internalizing what it is that you're trying to take on board and write things such as I am a pleasant person I have a lot to offer the world things as I said that you believe about yourself I did such a job well and I will do that job well again in the future and pay attention to all of the things that you actually have to bring to the table as opposed to things that you assume the table requires because again we tend to try and convince ourselves of attributes that we feel are very socially acceptable and again this is where the whole success and confidence and beauty aspect comes into positive affirmations instead of looking at ourselves realistically and asking ourselves what kind of values do we want to embody and bring to the world things such as kindness consideration um perception, the ability to listen to other people, to be empathetic. Do people enjoy being in my company? Do they find me humorous? Do they find me someone that is really enjoyable to hang out with? The thing is, there is often a huge differentiation between what we think people appreciate about us and what people actually value about us and it's just recognizing that the most valuable thing that you can offer to the world is your authentic self not your idea of who you think you should be or who other people are going to approve of because literally people just want to see others in all of their reality they want to see your truth and they want to be able to be in their truth and by you being in yours you give them permission to do so Another thing I notice about positive affirmations is that oftentimes they're used as a way of avoiding dealing with any adversity that we're experiencing, kind of an attempt to fast track our way back to a positive place. And unfortunately, when we keep doing this, we avoid dealing with the pain in the short term, but oftentimes it comes back to bite us in the ass. And it's recognizing that you cannot fast track your way through pain. What you need to do is recognize it and treat it with the compassion and respect that it deserves and when you do that when you go through the process in a very mindful and mature manner you have a tendency to come out the other side a more resilient person who is wiser and more self-accepting as a consequence so it's being very mindful of what your intentions are when you're utilizing positive affirmations because they can very quickly become just a form of a 
avoidance and denial of your reality. If you would like to work with me on establishing greater acceptance and self-worth, get in touch with me on my website. It's fundamentals.ie.